So let's start with our first project. Now we're eventually going to lay down a basic pattern with several parts, but first we're going to need to know how to find sounds. Machine comes with over 5 gigabytes of content, but you'll see just how easy it is to find the sound you're looking for. Now you could use the software to do this, but we'll focus on using the hardware for now. To find a sample, press the Browse button on the machine controller, and you'll see a series of filters to help you find the sound you want. Turn knob 1 until the filter on the left display turns to Sample, and you'll then see all the available samples from the machine factory library in the right display. Since I'm looking for a kick drum, I'll turn knob 2 until the factory bank is set to drums. Then I'll turn knob 3 to select type kick. Now using the right display and knob 5, you can browse through all the kick drums. With button 8, you can then load the selected kick drum. Since I have the first pad on the machine controller selected, this is the pad and the corresponding sound slot in the software it will be loaded into. Easy. Now let's say I want to add a sample from my external hard drive. No problem. I can choose the external drive by clicking on the disk button in the machine software. This displays a list of all the drives and directories that my computer can see. So, getting a sound from an external drive is as simple as navigating to that location and then double clicking the file. As before, it will be loaded onto the selected pad on the machine controller. Now, a moment ago, you saw how we could browse for a sound using the machine controller by telling it we wanted a kick drum. Now, this is possible because all of the content in the machine library has been categorized, but it's easy to add and categorize your own samples as well. For example, instead of just adding that one snare drum to our kit, you could add all the snare drums from that folder to the machine library. Do this by first selecting the folder, then choosing Add to Library. You can then select tags by clicking the tag name. These are all snares, so first I'll select Drums, and then Snare. Now I'll click Import. Now all these snares can be found using the method we used to find the kick drum earlier. 